Welcome back to Pathologic. It's about 4.30 in the morning on day 10, and I'm hoping this is going to be a lot more pleasant than day 9, because oh my god, that was a nightmare. That was so frustrating. But we're starting off day 10 on a very good foot. It's early in the morning, so there's still plenty of time, and my stats are almost all very good. Health, immunity, hunger, exhaustion, and infection are all good to great. Uh, the only issue I have with my stats really is my reputation, which has been tanked because of the rifles that I stole from the military on day 9. In fact, it's so bad that it's showing up on the top right of the screen, which if it shows up there, that usually means you kind of have to deal with it. So I'm hoping my relatively bad reputation isn't going to make anything bad happen. Like, I don't really know what a bad reputation does, to be honest, because I've never had a bad reputation until now. So, we'll see, but I do want to focus on getting that up, and I know of two ways to get it up. Um, one way is to help sick, infected people by giving them pain medication. And the other way is to kill bad people. So kill the people that throw Molotov cocktails, and also the, the thieves. If you kill them, that improves your reputation a bit. So I want to make sure I do those things, and I don't actually have any medication to give anyone right now, because I used it all on me to, to recover for day 10. It's all been used up. So I need to really concentrate on trading with children for medication and stuff. Definitely need medication for myself and for others for my reputation. And it's nice to finally have enough time to actually be able to trade with people. Because, dear god, I did not have time on day 9. Anyway, uh, let's figure out what we need to do for the day. There's no quests at the moment. I have received a letter which technically was from very late in the day on day 9, not actually for day 10, but I, I never read it in the last episode, so let's go for it. The evening letter from the Inquisitor, day 9. I've been thinking about what I've learned today, and I think I could use your advice. Or, putting it bluntly, it would help me if you agree to conduct a detailed inspection of the tower. I trust the construction was brought to your attention before, one way or another. If you have indeed established that the walls of the tower provide effective isolation from the disease, why didn't you elaborate on this possible solution? If you found that the construction is too unstable, why didn't you evacuate the children? I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion on the matter tomorrow. Which is now today. So I guess I should go speak with her. It's kind of an odd letter to get though, because I already talked with her yesterday, and I already agreed that I would go inspect the tower. But this says, it would help me if you agreed to conduct a detailed inspection of the tower. But we already agreed to do that, did we not? It's kind of strange. It sounds like she's... questioning... me. She's saying, if you found that the construction is too unstable, why didn't you evacuate them? If it's effective, why didn't you elaborate on this possible solution? I don't know, it sounds like she's unhappy or something. Not sure. What? What? Let's go speak with her and see what's up. You know, I'm also surprised that I didn't get a cutscene at the end of day nine. After all, the last thing I did was give the children the five rifles to defend themselves from the military. I was expecting a, a cutscene or something like that, showing the military perhaps trying to go for the polyhedron and the children defending themselves or something. So I wonder what actually happened with that. Hmm. Oh, this is an infection zone, isn't it? It is. Gotta be careful. <clears throat> While I'm here, I think I'm gonna go speak with Victor. See if he has anything for me. It's like something is pulling my strings. My consciousness hasn't completely returned to me yet. I can hardly imagine how much must have changed here since then. Uh, what's going on with you? This is not how you normally talk. Oh, okay. To Aglaya, then. Oh yeah, I dumped all these to make room for the rifles. Oh, might as well pick them up now.
Why are they playing me up? The Bachelor, I would like you to explain a certain important point to me. You have a close relationship with the Canes, do you not? Hmm. I guess I sort of do. I have been helping them for a while. Uh, I can't say I particularly like them. But I guess out of the ruling families, I do like them the most. I mean, God knows I hate Big Vlad of the Olgimskis, and I don't exactly like the other family either. But should I admit that I'm fond of the Canes? Am I really fond of them? I don't even think that's quite true. I just don't dislike them. Why do you ask? Because they are obviously very fond of you. Maria is in love with you. That's clear as day. Even though it makes no sense if my knowledge of her future plans is correct. Victor has gone so far as to entrust you with some final family matter. Georgie speaks of you with great sympathy. And so? The Canes will help us. If they are still capable of anything at all, that is. To gather the necessary documents concerning that unusual structure, the polyhedron. Uh, what? Why do you need those documents? Are you joking? How am I supposed to work without documents? Firstly, I need to draw up a so-called Inquisitor's Argument, which will contain documental evidence providing the rationale for my decision. There could be a tribunal, and it's not something to be trifled with. Wait. Rationale for your decision? What, what decision? What are you talking about? Uh, and secondly? And secondly, that blasted block turned out to be not as dim-witted as I expected. He's taking advantage of my youth and weakness, and has decided to ascertain the validity of my decision himself. Without having a shred of understanding, of course. And of course, doubting me from the start. I, I don't understand. What decision... What decision is she talking about? Uh, very well. What documents do you need? Basically, I need to know what that structure is. I need all documents pertaining to that building. There's probably a connection between this fantastic form and the fantastic events that have taken place. Hmm. Where could those blueprints be? The Canes surely know everything. Maybe they keep copies of the blueprints. After all, that Chimera was built under their patronage. Let them be the ones to make excuses now. Why? It's something to be proud of, not make excuses for. You think so? I believe so. In any case, I'll speak with the Canes. I don't really understand what's happening. Is this the main quest for the day? It is. That's the main quest. Okay. Aglaia has taken an interest in the polyhedron. She says that it is too unusual to exist. Yet, here it stands. No mere imaginary construct. How can she dismiss it so easily? What with all the children living inside? Only Peter Stamaton, the architect of the tower, will have the answer to the puzzle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Peter Stamaton made the tower. So then why did I tell her I'll speak with the Canes? Shouldn't I just speak with Peter Stamaton? Uh, I guess I'll go speak with the Canes while I'm here. Odd. Also, after what happened to Big Vlad, I want to make sure I visit basically every person, every major character, to make sure they're not sick, and if they are sick, heal them. The carcass in the lot classifies as incitement, but we won't be provoked. Who could have done something like that? Uh, I guess I'll go speak with Georgie.
A ding means it's five o'clock in the morning. In growing old, we become more foolish and more wise. All these dialogue options for the canes are creeping me out. I don't recognize you, Judge. You've changed. Because that's similar to my dialogue option for Victor Kane. He's speaking strangely, he's acting oddly, not like himself. Given all of that and what Victor told me before about the Kane family being, uh, what, about to die and Maria was going to take over or something like that? The possibility of even Maria dying? I don't know, it's all just, all just very strange and creepy. Now that they've changed, apparently, makes me wonder exactly what's happened. The caprice of our temper is even more whimsical than that of fortune. One blow after another. Clara is becoming a mistress of the earth. A dreadful one, too. She's ruthless and cruel. A fanatics believe her. And she'd happily burn us all at stakes. I can feel this horrible heat with my very skin. Who's inflicting blows on whom? The changeling is robbing us of the most precious thing. She's dousing Peter's genius. She's tempting him, sowing the destructive seeds of doubt in his weakened soul. Her rhetoric can easily drive him mad. Peter. Peter Stamaton, the person I'm about to talk to. Making him doubt... Making him doubt what? Hmm. Well, this is obviously going to be important to today's main quest. How do you know about it? She has been trying for a long time now. He sent me a crazy verse letter. A love letter. I won't show you. He says he's breaking down. He cannot stand it anymore. But I cannot help him either. The changeling gnaws him like a worm. This is all Aglaia's doing. She has sent her. What is she saying to him? Now he believes that he is to blame for everything. She accused him of taking a miracle captive, not letting go of that which is supposed to have faded, tying a bird that was supposed to fly off, forcing himself on a guest that cannot live here any longer. Taking a miracle captive? I know the polyhedron has been described as being miraculous, Did he do something wrong to make it so miraculous? Also, what is wrong with her head? It's doing weird things. Like right about... There. <laughs> very, very strange. Is this not true? I fear Peter will die today. If that happens, a part of the world will peter out with him. What? Was that a pun? If Peter Stamaton dies, a part of the world will peter out with him. Come on. Come on, Maria. Did you really just make a Peter pun? An everlasting, irreparable loss. There has never been and will never be an architect like him. Hmm. How will Peter die? Is he planning on killing himself if the changeling is sowing... Seeds of doubt, making him think that he's responsible? Driving him crazy? Is that how he would die? Either way, I need to stop it. How can I make him change his mind? Tell him that I am turning into a mistress. Tell him I can feel the scarlet lava. Tell him I am ready to accept it into my womb. Tell him my mother is looking at me now. I shall become her. I shall overcome her. And I shall build what he had conceived. That is why I'll preserve the tower. Tell him. I feel he's with Andre now. Ready to accept it into my womb, the scarlet lava. What are, you, what are you talking about? I don't know what she's talking about, but this sounds really... This sounds really bad. I will. I was going to visit Andre anyway. So Peter Stamaton is with Andre Stamaton? Okay. 
Where is Andre Stamaton? That's, yeah, here. Owns the pub. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I've spoken with the Canes, I've spoken with her, um... Should I go over to Ava's place? I haven't been there in, I feel like, days. Let's do it. Just in case, I, I don't want to miss something. You know, somebody I could heal if they're sick. Although, if I remember right, I don't think Ava is there anymore. Uh, didn't Ava die? Didn't she kill herself? Either way, let's go pay a visit. Oh yeah, I forgot I have time to loot these things now. Yay, water bottles that I can't fit in my inventory. Whoops. Yeah, it looks like the infection has left this place. That's nice. Also, I'm going to take this opportunity to dump off some items that I'm pretty sure I don't need anymore. But I could possibly need. Yeah, I've got all these blood vials, so I don't think I need these blood vials, um, either. Human blood, don't remember what that's from. The Barak file that he wanted me to examine, don't think I need that anymore. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's a cell key. I don't think I need that either. Yeah, there we go. Yes, that's right, you took Ava's place. Terrible headache. Okay, nothing to do. Yeah, I don't think she's really much of a character. I don't think she's relevant to anything. <clears throat> okay, let's head across the water. I think I want to see if there's a new play. Ooh, wow. Some really good items from that bin. Ooh, uh, let's kill this guy too. It'll improve my reputation. I think I've got plenty of ammo. 22 shots? Yeah. Let's use the crappiest rifle. Oh, they're all 100%. Okay. No, don't kill him! Oh. Dang it. Oh god, Plague Rat. I don't think you gain reputation from killing those. Not worth it. Um... Let's, let's go to little Vlad's place, because he's just right here. And I want the updated map. Whoa, the Plague Rat didn't see me. if this guy will have a bandage. Haven't seen a bandage in five million years. <gasps> oh my god. Thank god. I also haven't talked to the citizens for quite a while. I should probably do that. Hmm, let's see. Why are you so happy? Hail to the powerful and healthy storm, as they used to say. The times of change are truly upon us. The old will topple down for the new to be erected. Eh, too good to be true. <laughs> okay, now let's try that conversation again. Your optimism is untimely. What's the point? We're trying to escape the absurdity of it all, Professor. There is a point to everything. Everything happens for a reason. All those deaths couldn't have been for nothing. That's what I think. Through cleansing and suffering, a new bliss will emerge. Really? You couldn't have come up with that on your own. Hmm. True. T'was a girl comforter, a puny lass that wiped away our tears. She comforted me yesterday. Without abhorring us down and outs, she said, Everything happens for a reason. 
All those deaths couldn't have been... Eh, she speaks the truth. Well, I can say the first very insulting thing, or the second thing which is just kind of, like, nothing. <laughs> that basically just ends the conversation. Fine, I guess I'll be a dick then, because it's a more interesting option. Forget it, you sot. The reason war had swept away more lives than this plague. People have always died, and will always die by the millions, for nothing. There. That'll cheer him up. Life is suffering and pain, and people die for no reason. Goodbye. Hey, young Vlad. Still stuck on a pillar, I see. The kinds are prepared. Map, please. How much was it again? I think it was like 2,000 or something. I don't know. Here you go. What are we looking at? Oh my god. Okay. That's a lot of infection. That's a lot of infection. It's almost the entire map. Either is infected or was just infected. Okay, next stop, the town theater. For a second I thought maybe the rat didn't see me. It did. Very late though. Only saw me from like two feet away. Let's go check the store real quick for any tradable items. Yes, I will take all of those, thank you. Wait a minute. Why does a clothing shop sell rifle ammo? That's kind of weird. Ah! <gasps> Thief! Quickly, before the others kill him. I need the, the rep boost. Let's actually see how much of a difference it makes to my reputation. Alright. That didn't work. Did I miss? I don't know, I was staring at the reputation meter. Oh, it made the meter disappear. That actually went up significantly, wow. Guess it won't be too hard to get my reputation up. My orders were to destroy every building in this town, and then to shoot everyone who survives the bombardment. The military only comes when there's nothing to fix anymore. I'm keen on breaking that habit, though. I know that the people that can change the course of the catastrophe have been working here for some time. We will only destroy the thing pointed at by a healer who can argue in favor of taking such action. How about not shooting at all? If we don't shoot anything at all, the consequences will be devastating. You wanted freedom of choice. So choose a massive shelling or a single pinpoint strike. One way or another, we'll put an end to this circus.
Okay, so it sounds like Alexander wants a target. Sounds like if he's not given a target, he's going to indiscriminately raise the entire town. Hmm. A man would rather say evil of himself than say nothing. You have my sincerest gratitude for finding an opportunity to pay a visit to a poor actor. But tell me, what do you make of the things you've witnessed recently? What is your impression? I'm referring to the few hours that we haven't seen each other. The few hours? What? It's been longer than that. But, okay. <sighs> You're asking as though you owned the situation. Almost as if this entire event, this entire plague, is some sort of a play, and I'm an actor in the play, just playing my part. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, I apologize. A nasty stage habit. Of course, I wouldn't in my wildest dreams dare... Uh, I wouldn't ever think about producing such a cheap jack and, if I may, tasteless play. So I had nothing to do with it. And let us forget the jests on the subject. Why did you want to see me? Uh, did he want to see me? I guess I'm jumping the gun on a quest I didn't even know I had. To confirm your sharpest observation, actually. I've got competition now, as you can see. The lowest kind of it, I suppose. I'm no... Trage tragedian? Yeah, I'm no tragedian myself. I'm rather a comedian. But this is a most grotesque and insane parody. Who's the competition? Some mob is trying to act out a... I'm not sure what to call it. It's not really a performance. Well, they're trying to act out a living image of something by the bone stake. Although I'm not sure living is the best word. The centerpiece is a dying creature, after all. By the bone stake. The bone stake? Is that where that, uh, very, very early on in the game, is that where I saw the, the woman being burned? I think it is, yeah. Are they planning to lynch someone there once again? I don't know. I only have the executor's sardonic reports at the moment. I wouldn't have bothered you with this if not for the nasty smell coming from the detestable farce. Because honestly, who would really believe that it was my... Epigons? I don't know what that means. Epigonus? Epigons? Doing? Uh, the mob thinks it's a heavenly portent, no less. Uh, consider my curiosity piqued. I'll have a look when I get a chance. Wait, so there's a dying creature and there's a nasty smell coming from there. W what the hell is going on? That sounds like I should go there, like, right now. Uh, so that's another task. Chimerae. The pictogram. A sacred sign was revealed to the people at the bone stake lot. Mark looks worried, which is not like him at all. I should go take a look. Hmm. I'm far more curious about that than I am about the main quest. That really does have my curiosity piqued. Well, I might as well do that while I'm over talking to Peter and Andre Stamaton, because the bone lot is somewhere around here. So, it's in the area. Um, hmm... Okay. Yeah, let's head on over there, and while heading over there, I think I'm going to visit every significant house here along the way. So I'll go talk to Block at the town hall, talk to Laura, see how Yulia's doing. I wonder, I wonder if they've replaced the guards that I killed from Yulia's place. After all, if they didn't replace the guards, then she's under house arrest, but there's nobody there to actually enforce the house arrest. Huh. Oh, another thief. Oh, God, I was trying to be clever and, like, shoot him in the head, but then he moved just... Ah. Oh, my God, I'm... That just, like, took all my health away. That was exceedingly stupid, so I'm actually just going to reload that. Yeah, I think I went from full health to having, like, 5% health. My God, those knives. Okay, I'm not going to go for a headshot this time. It's not really worth it. It's too hard to go for a headshot. Go 
just save on ammo, though. Okay, how's my reputation doing? Yeah, pretty good. I think if I kill maybe four more, I might be up to 100%. Who knew it was so easy to make everything right in the world? You know, if people don't see you very well, just kill a bunch of people. They've got to be the right people, though, you know. Got to murder the right people, come on. How much does medication cost? Full bandage set that heals you to 100%, I think. 3,000. What about some Meridorm? Almost a thousand. Nah, I think I'll just trade for it. Yeah, just trade for it. It's way more cost effective. Although, I haven't seen many kits to trade with, perhaps because the plague zones are keeping the children out. I'm guessing children don't appear in zones that are... Obviously, they don't appear in zones that are actually have the plague currently, but it looks like they also don't appear in zones that used to have the plague. The, the yellow zones, if you will. That was close. Don't touch me! Oh. <clears throat> okay, Block. What have you been up to? We have two more days. The choice has to be made the day after tomorrow. This is the order of the powers that be. The choice has to be made the day after tomorrow. Okay, so we don't have to make the decision today. Good. Got a little bit of time. Talking about who to who to bomb or who to kill, I suppose. I hoped that in this particular Inquisitor, I would find a friend and not the usual enemy. But no. She has already assigned us a part in her scheme. And my heart tells me it's a dark one. Hmm. I love this music. This particular track, this like military track, is just so good. Yeah, do I trust Aglaia? No. Do I trust Block? No. I don't really trust anybody. Hmm. You are probably right. I didn't go anywhere. I'm feverish. What if I tell him, I hope you're mistaken, I like Aglaia? That also goes nowhere. Okay. Uh, next stop, Laura? Yeah. Hope Laura's okay. I didn't give her the gun, so I suppose she's still alive. I don't think she made the assassination attempt. It's an awfully stiff walk. Oh. Total death toll 6,500. Jesus. Day 10, in which the creators of the impossible take the stage to discuss captured miracles. Okay, she's still alive. Good. Clemency is born not of virtue, but rather of fear. Everyone says that it's impossible to kill death itself, but I can't let go of the hope that someone might eventually succeed. Doctors are said to be the people whose very job is to defeat death. I've always known that I throw everything away and follow the man who achieves that to the ends of the earth. If he wouldn't have me as a partner, I'd serve him. If he wouldn't have me by his side, I'd serve him from the shadows. Hmm. Is there someone who you're serving from the shadows right now? So that's why you love this town so much. It seemed to you that Simon had achieved that. You really are very smart. 
Oh, thank you. Oh god, I'm blushing. I hope I can do the impossible. Let's hope. Well, it looks like my infection is still doing pretty good. Even though I just got the... The you are more infected status effect. Still doing pretty well. Clemency is born not of virtue, but rather of fear. Alright, let's go see Yulia. See if she's still under house arrest. Yeah, it's an infected zone up there. Need to be careful. Then after seeing Yulia, I'm gonna go to Peter's studio. Although, I feel like he's probably not gonna be there. Because it sounded like he's actually at his brother's place. Andre Stamaton. shooting at? I don't see anybody over there. Oh yeah, let's save here just in case the guards attack me again. Like, is this a guard? Oh, oh god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, three of those just came at me. Okay, yeah, she's, I guess, still under house arrest, but all her guards are gone. <laughs> Not very effective house arrest. That's more of a suggestion. You're under house arrest. P -p Please don't leave your home. The most subtle folly grows out of the most subtle wisdom. Nothing to say. Okay. to follow up on the main quest. No needle or anything like that. Yeah, trading with children is really going to be a problem. There's almost no zones that actually have children in them. When's the last time I visited these people? What's their names again? The Sabarovs. Yeah, I feel like it's been forever since I visited them. Let's see how they're doing. Yes. There you are, Bachelor. I've been waiting for you. Waiting to reveal to you. Nobody else knows this secret, and I'd never tell them. Who else could I reveal it to but you, the man that only came here for its sake? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who I'm talking about. Uh, Simon? Simon is alive. I just saw him suddenly appear at the Crucible. I sense him, you know. I can't ignore it. I woke up, but the feeling refused to let go of me. He's here. He's still there. It was all a lie, an illusion. Reuben will back up my words. I, I don't understand. Why Reuben? Reuben must tell the truth. He never lies if you make him swear on his master's name. He will tell you then that he never dissected the body. Simon is in the construct. It was all an illusion, a deception. Why would somebody arrange such a deception? Illusions. The Canes engineered the epidemic, then hid it behind a false murder. Simon is in the crucible, I know he is. And I will have proof. 
If you won't do it, I'll lower myself to ask the changeling. And even the Haruspex if she refuses too. Aglaia will heed their words, more willingly than she would heed mine. And she needs to know. The Gaines engineered the epidemic? Really? I, I seriously doubt that. Simon is, to a certain extent, a concept. That much I have concluded by now. Which means your words can be taken very much as an allegory. No, no. That's exactly why the Canes are so abhorrent. Any fantasy that only has the right to exist in the realm of dreams, they give substance. It's as if they're just bringing all those illusions, all the vastness available to the human imagination, into this world. Fine, but why are you so upset? I beg you on my knees. Go to him. See for yourself that he is alive. And let the Inquisitor rend the canes to pieces. Aglaia will be happy, because the only good thing in her is her hatred of the canes. Is that so? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. How generously shall she reward you for the news, for exposing the villains, on the eve of everyone's doom. A truly heroic deed. So why won't you do it? I ask for so little. Hmm. It sounds like I have the option to perhaps blame everything on the Canes. Giving Alexander Block uh, a target. Hmm. Well, I was going to visit the Crucible anyway. Perhaps there really is no smoke without fire. Reuben is the only one who knows the actual fate that befell Simon Kane. He must tell me the truth. I always forget that when you zoom out all the way this appears. Still catches me by surprise. What is the Crucible? Is it the Cathedral? I'm trying to remember what the Crucible is. Or, or is the Crucible even a particular building? I don't remember. But either way, it looks like I need to talk to Reuben first. I haven't seen Reuben in a very long time. Be good to pay him a visit anyway. I'm getting some really interesting quests for today. I can't wait to follow up on them. Yes. Go see who how uh, Alexander Sabarov is doing. Wait, is it Sabarov? Sabarov, yeah, it is. I remember for a long time I mispronounced it as Subarov or something. It's Sabarov. My chest hurts. Can it be conscience? Okay, nothing there. Okay, uh, and Andre, no, Peter's studio is over here. Let's go see if he happens to be home. Oh my. I guess he's hiding out at his brother's place. I guess the Inquisitor. Or, well, no, these are military men. I guess the Inquisitor wouldn't have anything to do with it. I guess Alexander sent his men here. Name. Let's establish your identity first. Uh, I'm Bachelor Dankovsky, an authorized representative of the Inquisitor, head of the sanitary staff. Your company commander should have informed you. Right. So what are you here for? Hmm. Should I throw my weight around? Yeah, let's throw my weight around. No, you'll be the one to answer my questions, not the other way around. On what authority are you here? Answer. Unless you fancy a court-martial, that is. 
Oh my god, it actually worked. <gasps> yes. We're here on duty, kind sir. So you're the offender's friend, then? Or an accomplice? <laughs> well, like, I'm just gonna admit to being an accomplice. I'm on duty as well. I want to hear a full report, now. Then it should be of interest to you that your friend is to be held responsible for the crime of murder in cold blood of four servicemen. Are in... Wait. Four servicemen? That's not related to the... The officers that I killed for their rifles, is it? No, I only killed three, right? Uh, anyway, our informer has indicated that the murderous architect resides in this very house. The sentence is to be executed immediately. And now you're going to tell me where the where the offender could be found. Hmm. Okay, this is not good. Should I not have come here first? Maybe I should have gone to the bar first, to Andre Stamaton. Like, the first option seems terrible. Why in the world would I do that? That's just obviously evading. But then this option doesn't seem that much better. Eh, fine, let's go with this one. Oh no, something tells me there's been a mistaken identity issue. Ugh. And what am I supposed to do? What were you saying? Uh, I'm asking on whose order you are here. Our immediate commanding officer is Captain Longen, commander of the 15th Company. He is in charge of investigating the attack on the Flamethrower Corps Sanitary Patrol. Any more questions? So you're telling me that General Block has no authority over you. He'll be excited to find out. We're going to find the offender sooner or later anyway. We already have tactical data suggesting that one of the offenders is hiding in the ruined building in the central part of the town and is presenting armed resistance. I suggest you cooperate in his arrest. Or else. Ruined building in the central part of the town. Hmm. He'll come back here soon. Wait and he'll be here. Alright, what happened to my quest now? Whoa. Are all the side quests for today going to be marked Chimera? So all of these quests are Chimeras? What does that mean? According to Katarina, Simon Kane has returned to the Crucible. She swear. Oh, wait, this isn't actually the quest that I'm just doing right now, but regardless, I didn't read this, so let's read it. Simon Kane has returned to the Crucible. She swears she can feel his presence. How is this even possible? Did she transport herself completely into the world of her chimeras? Only Reuben can answer that. He was the last person to see Simon alive. Okay, and now what I just did now. So they decided to get rid of Peter after all. What does Andre have to say on the matter? I'd like to hear him boast now of how he cares for his emotionally fragile sibling. I must find Peter before he does anything reckless, like burn any evidence of his work. He must be hiding somewhere in town. But where? Hmm. Where could he be hiding? Well, it sounded like he was with his brother, Andre. But now that sounds like maybe he's not. Interestingly enough, the quest doesn't mention that supposedly, like, one of the... Uh, the offender, or, or someone... Someone who's done something illegal is hiding out in the ruined building in the center of town. Which I think might be this, perhaps? Is that the ruined building in the center of town? Maybe. I think that is, actually. I can't think of any more central location that has a ruined building. But yeah, the quest doesn't mention that, even though the officer mentioned that, so I guess I just need to make sure I don't forget that. Because it sounds like something I want to investigate. All right, well, next stop is Andre Stamaton. See if his brother knows anything. <clears throat> oh, yes, and while I'm here, 
We have the other side quest for the the bone something. What was it? The bones take a lot. Yeah. Let's go do that right now. I'm really curious what's going on with that. Uh, what's the best way to get there? I think it's like here. I think. I think it's there. Hmm. What's the best way to get in there? Oh, let's, uh... Let's kill this guy for, for points. Oh my god. Gamma tablets. Oh, immunity booster. Okay, I thought that was antibiotics. Not that special, then. Reputation's looking pretty good. Maybe this isn't the way to go to get into the bone lots. I know there is an entrance somewhere around here. Oh god, don't flame throw me. Oh. Oh. Kinda dangerous around here. Oh god, I got hit by that. Great. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. My infection still isn't too high. Okay, here we go. Yeah, what is going on in here? Did you? <gasps> you just burned the rat! Oh my god! Thank you so much, kind sir. You're the only guard who's ever helped me with a rat. There's the dying creature. It is still alive. I can see it moving. Looks like it's been impaled. Ugh. Over here. Listen, people. Hearken to heaven's sign, for this is a parable. Listen to my expliction, fair people. For this is a simple sign for us to know who is to blame for all our woes, for all our suffering. And who would that be? People, gather around. Or better yet, call for your neighbors and relatives, and nearest and dearest. For the meaning behind this is as follows. The Cain's Tower is killing our town. The bull here represents the town. And the sharp stake, this shameful stake, is a symbol of the Cain's vile creation. Their obscene philosophizing. Oh god. I feel like the children are going to have to put their weapons to use pretty soon. What's gotten into you, dear sir? Wipe them out, the monsters. Simon was a monster, for his sins had brought this pestilence upon us. And Maria, his granddaughter, would soon reach the stars and ply us to her will with her magics, just as her mother Nina used to in days past. She must be killed, torn apart, and thrown for the people's relish. Is my only option here to kill him? That's it. I'm shutting you up in the most reliable matter known to man. What's about to happen? Oh. I thought he was about to try to kill me. Am I supposed to kill him or something? I don't want to. Uh, let's talk to some more people. Do not touch. From within Suak has Boss been cast out. And so here he appeared, alive, alive still. That means spirits are still speaking to us. What is this creature? Where did you get such a thing? Oh. So that doesn't go anywhere. They say it was brought at night, but they also say not to say a word about it. And it's no coincidence, let me tell you. On whose orders? On whose orders? Beats us. 
There, that smart man over there. Ask him. Yeah, an obviously reliable source of information, born and bred, that one. So no one's gonna talk to me, are they? They say, to say it's an omen. They say that'll make the soldiers go away. Can't make heads or tails of the whole deal. Okay, so somebody put the creature on... Somebody impaled the creature, somehow. Uh, I don't know how they would do it, given how freaking heavy that creature is. But somebody did it. And then wants to make it out to be like a sign, I guess. That the canes are causing everything? I don't know. The whole thing is obviously just a, a, a freaking play. You know, I kind of just unconsciously called it a freaking play. But you know what? You know who told me to come here? Is the play guy at the town theater. Mark Immortel. So yes, it is kind of like a play. Someone is staging a play because they don't like the canes. I wonder who it could be. Could be the Inquisitor. Could be the Soporovs. Not to worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. Diving in right now. <coughs> Same as the other guy. Omen, omen, omen. Can I do anything for the creature? Nope, can't talk to it. You know what, I'm... Really curious. Like, I don't actually intend to do this as something I'm going to stick with, but I'm curious. Can I, like, kill it? And if I kill it, what happens? Okay, no, you can't. Oh, God. I just pressed new game. Okay, so it sounds like the only thing I can do is just kill the guy? Uh, let me try talking with him again. I think I'm going to have to kill him to resolve the quest, though. That's what the dialogue suggested is the only thing I can do. Uh, maybe not. Okay, maybe we can talk. Gather the people. Get everyone here. As many as you can. So they can see how the tower is killing us. And from here, friends, we shall go to burn the crucible. And then we'll reach the accursed tower itself. Gather everyone. Wait, don't go anywhere. I'll bring some hot-headed men, too. Fiery men, if you catch my drift. Should I go talk to the military? Yep, yeah, okay, there's, yeah, nothing I can do. I have to kill him or talk to somebody. Can I just, like, talk to this guy here and say, hey, go burn him? Nope. Am I really about to shoot him? It feels like I'm just murdering him if I'm just shooting him when he's not trying to attack me, but he is inciting a riot and he won't stop and I don't know what to do about it. Uh. Let's see. What a monster. Still alive, no doubt. Albeit may shortly breathe his last. No wonder these simple minds get so agitated. They see this as a symbol. A message. The worms look shifty, however. I have the feeling this celestial revelation was set up by a human being and meant to serve a mundane purpose. I wonder what Mark Immortel has to say about it. Hmm. Is that suggesting I should go speak with him before doing anything? Okay, well he's inciting a riot, but uh, I'm sure nothing's probably actually going to happen. You know, in the next couple hours or something like, whoa, shit. Where did that come from? Fuck. <sighs> Alright, well my infection's fine, now, now it's just my immunity that's screwed. Gamma tablets? There we go, now my immunity's almost full again, it's fine. Yeah, so I don't think the riot's just gonna happen if I just happen to leave for a couple hours or something like that. 
And probably as long as I deal with it by the end of today, I think it should be fine. So I guess I'll speak with Marky Mortel before I shoot that guy. <sighs> okay. Uh, next stop, Andre Stamaton's Pub. Yes. Yes. Actually, next stop, Anna's place, since I'm already here. How are we doing on time, by the way? Nine in the morning, we got plenty of time. My hair is disheveled and coming out. Nothing to say. Glad to see nobody's shown up with the plague that I need to cure. That's good. Alright, please be here with your brother. Please be here with your brother. Is that him? I don't think that's him. That's it. There's nothing left here. Run. Run! Ah, right. That's that's Andre himself. Oh, just the person I wanted to see. We've had quite an adventure here. My knife loves strife. It has a gripe with the type filled with tripe. <laughs> so tell me, what would be best? Should I drag my little brother over here to always have him by my side? Or rather, move to his place? That's grief ease, isn't it? You're talking just like him. The type filled with what? Uh, how did you put it? I was actually quoting grief. He loves this kind of folksy. Uh, folks say. Claims it attracts luck to weapons and averts malicious spells. Taking lives is disturbing, you know. Anyone who dares do that will get their just desserts. I know that from experience. Whom did you kill? You see, my dear brother is seeing pink elephants. He's talking to bottles. The conversations seem to be enlightening, too. He mostly does listening. And so he got it into his head. As far as I understood, he decided that he was at his limits and wanted to try his luck. Is he in a crisis? Well, let me guess. It started yesterday. He's been getting uncanny ideas. He wanted to pay visits to all his early <clears throat> works. I mean, the ugly ruins. The stairways to heaven that are scattered around the town. He said he needed to find the ideal place for something. And I have no idea what he has in his mind. The ruins! The ruins in the center of town! That's what the guards, uh, the military people were talking about. Okay, so yeah, it sounds like he is actually there. Alright, so what about the adventure? He broke loose and ran outside, wild and disoriented. Fell across some soldiers. I've been told he had been preparing to leave his humble abode beforehand. Someone's heard the ruckus. Thankfully, I got there in time. He managed to provoke the royal riflemen somehow, so they started clubbing him. And then, well, you know me. Oh, so he's the one that killed the, the military people. Okay. So it was Andre's fault. Well, if you could even say he did anything wrong, but yeah, he's the one that killed them. Not Peter. How many? Let me guess, four? Three flamethrower-wheeling freaks and an officer. Yep, four. I see. I see. What can I say? Well done, Andres Damaton, you heartless bastard. Why did you leave him alone? What's wrong with you? I'll just deal with everything that needs to be dealt with. And that's it. I'm never leaving him again. All our lives we've been persecuted for being extraordinary. As soon as a genius sets foot out of his house, he's immediately struck by lightning. You must know that. We're birds of a feather, you and us. Hmm, yes, this is true. I could have easily been in your shoes. What's brewing at the Kynes? They say five people are living there instead of three these days. 
there's nothing to talk about. Fortune appears so blind to none as to those to whom she has done no good. That was an aphorism. I want to hear the first comment that he said again. A bull is down. Well, that's one straightforward allegory. Way too straightforward. We get it. <laughs> Even he's suspicious of the impaled bull. Oh, I would have let my fists loose if not for these pins. What's brewing at the Kinds? They say five people are living there instead of three these days. The Kinds? What's brewing at the Kinds? What's the Kinds? There's, there's nothing called the Kind. Hmm. Anyway, okay, so now I know where to search for Peter Stamaton. Here. I feel like there's another part on the map, though, that has more ruins. Um, is it here? So I suppose it could maybe be that. Or maybe this. I don't know. There's ruins here, too. But the military guy said in the center of town, and I guess this is kind of center-ish, sort of? I feel like it's probably here. Okay, so I think I'll end this episode there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head to the ruins and see if I can find Peter Stamaton. I really want to save him because he does not deserve to be killed. As far as I know, he hasn't done anything wrong. And I also need to speak with Mark Immortel and see if he can help me deal with the whole situation with the bull and the rioters. And I also need to speak with Reuben and ask him about Simon Kane. <laughs>